Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Well, I've got a new wig on today, and this is the Rowan in Vanilla Swirl. I really, really love this wig. Let me get the tag, it's right here. I thought I had it right here, so that you can see it. Right there. And I wrote Vanilla Swirl up in here. But the number is 24 slash 101 HS6. And you see that right there? And this is one that's not available on Amazon. I want to make that clear up front. I bought this one from the Paula Young website because somebody asked me to review it. Now, I've done a couple of things to the Rowan. I really like it. I think it's a really cute wig. It's a throwback. When I look at it, I see the 80s. I really do. I see the shag. I see the short in the front. I've already had to clip some of this because it wasn't the same as this kind of. I had to clip some of that, and I trimmed up the bangs a bit to suit myself. But... Um, the bangs can be swept to the side still. <coughs> Excuse me. Had muffins again this morning. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it does that to me sometimes. So this is a really, really cute hairstyle. <coughs> hairstyle. Excuse me, one minute. My tea. <clears throat> now then, it's a really cute hairstyle. It's in Vanilla Swirl. It's by Paula Young, and this is really a home run by Paula Young. This is the cutest thing I've seen in a long time. Now, when you get it, you're going to notice that there's quite a bit of shine in it, but I went after it with Beach Babe. This is the dry shampoo stuff. I love this stuff. If you don't have a can of Beach Babe, get one. I'll leave one in the description box below. It's not going to you. You won't need the wig wax with this. It doesn't have much permatease in it, but it does have some. Um, where, where is my mirror this morning? Ah, there it is. All right, now then. Let's turn around and look at the back. Look at the front. See how it swirls to the front? And then the back, just you can just sort of get it to flip. Flip up like that. It's so pretty. This is Vanilla Swirl is the color. It's rooted, and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I've taken quite a bit of the shine out already with the um, Beach Babe. It had too much shine for me in it. Um, but we can deal with shine. That's one of the things that we can fix in a wig with a little of the dry shampoo. But for my money, this is a great wig. In all, it cost me, because I bought it from the Paula Young side, it did cost me extra. Instead of $69, it was 90 something with all of their, you know, charges. They do charge for shipping and this and that. And um, so that's why I like Amazon a lot. But this one's not offered on Amazon. So I'll leave a link to the Paula Young site <clears throat> where you can get this. But this is a, re a really great wig, but I've already gone at it with scissors. And I've trimmed the bangs and this side and this side wasn't quite even, so not, at least not to my satisfaction. And so I, I trimmed it just a tad off there to make it better. But I really love it. I'm going to take it off for a minute and turn her inside out and show you the inside of her. She is an absolutely beautiful wig. She does, this is, um, whoops, let me find it. A closed cap construction, that's what I was trying to remember. A closed cap. See this right here? There's no gaps, nothing. And it's um, just got little rows of hairs. Looks like it's sewn down in there like that with little rows of hairs. And it's all open weave in the back. So this would be, this has got a little bit of a nape in the front, but not much. You don't need much. It's got a little bit of an extended nape in the back. 
Um, it does have Velcro closures. I love that about it. Velcro closures. You can see those right there. That's the Velcro closure right there. See it? I love it. So this is a really well-constructed wig, as usual, with Paula Young. And I love the rooting in it. Look at that pretty rooting, you know, offset by the platinum vanilla color. Really, really, really a beautiful, beautiful wig. And there's so many things you can do with this wig. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. Woo. <laughs> so here we are. Let me get my ear tabs on straight. And this is how she looks. She is a gorgeous wig. A really, really pretty, 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 pretty wig. And it is kind of a throwback. I remember wearing hairstyles like this when I was in junior high and high school. Junior high. In high school, I had longer hair, I think, because I used to wear it in a French twist mostly, most days, just to get it out of my face so I could concentrate. But um, these fronts kind of twirl to the front, which I particularly, I like. I think that's cute. Um, I want to wear it with a hairband. This is a square band, hairband. So, you know, this is just made for a hairband. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. Um, you can wear it back behind your ears if you like. I think this is this is one of those that will go behind your ears very nicely, very nicely. So um, you could wear it like this, and you could wear the hairband. Like this, you know what I mean. Something like that. So that's really cute too. I mean, it, it just really, there's an, an a multitude of different ways that you can wear this hair. Look how cute that is in the profile. So that works for me. I think it's got a lot of cute little ways to wear it. Can it be a pony? I wonder if we can make this a pony, this Rowan wig. I think you can. And I'm going to try it really quick. Now, you can leave some of that in the front out, or you can not leave it. It's up to you. I'm just going to use a real, one of these elastic things to try it with, but you can see how pretty that is. It does do a pony. You'll have to work with it a little bit better than I did. I've got a little bit of a swirl right there, but that's okay. I kind of like that. But um, you could use a scrunchie with it if you want to. Um, you could put some of this forward. See if we can do it. Look at that. It goes forward really nice for you. It's a little bit uneven here. See, that's what I had the problem. This side here was a little bit longer than this side, but it's, it's okay. I dealt with that for the most part. See that piece right there and see how short that piece is? See? For the most part, I dealt with it. I've already cut it some anyways. Can you see the difference in length? Okay. So what happens when you put in a cloth one? This one matches my purple shirt today. So let's try this one. Get my earrings out. <laughs> Oh, how cute that is, too. A purple cloth hairband looks just as great. I don't know if I really finished these bangs or not. I guess I did. They're fine. I can still swoop them. That was my goal, is to still swoop them to the side like that. I like doing that. But look how cute that is. That's a good way to wear it. Look how cute that is. That is so cute with the cloth hairband. So if you don't have some square hairbands or some cloth hairbands, Get yourself some. And I'll leave a link below to square hair bands and some cloth hair bands that are on Amazon that you can 
you can find to wear this with. If you like the Rowan, I will try to leave a link for it in the description box below. I really, really do like this style. And I'm wondering, I have a clip here, a pretty gold clip, and I'm going to try and put that in and see what happens when I do that. Look at that. Look at that. That works pretty much. Pretty much. You can get a clip in there. You can probably do it better than I did just then. I just did it in a hurry. You could leave part down and part up. Oh, see if I can get it. You could do the cooperation thing. Have you ever heard of that word, the cooperation? That's what my daughters and I used to call it when they were growing up because they wanted to wear their hair long. They didn't want to be stuck with a ponytail all day or something that I wanted their hair out of their faces. So, you know, half up and half down. That's, that's what we used to do a lot of times. Let's see how this looks. All right, so there's a clip in it. You can do, you can pull it back like that and put a clip in it. I think that looks fine. There's lots of different ways that you can wear this hair, and I think it looks absolutely great no matter which way and which style you decide. It's very, very versatile. And like I say, I've already taken care of some of the shine by using the Beach Babe. This is going to, you're going to need this with this hair because it's very shiny coming out of the box. And if you don't like that shine, which I don't like, um, most people tell me that's the giveaway of a wig when it's all shiny like that. And um, I agree. And so I just went at it with the Beach Babe hairspray. I love this wig. I think it is the cutest thing ever. And um, I thank you to the whoever it was that said, oh, why don't you look at the Rowan? And I did, and I ordered one, and um, I really, really, really like it. I wish they had it on Amazon. It's a perfect one for Amazon. Don't know why they don't have it on Amazon. Maybe they have a stocking problem. I've heard that it's hard to keep in stock sometimes, although I didn't have any trouble getting it. I didn't have to wait like months or anything, just a cup, just a week or so. So this is a beautiful hairdo. I love it. I think it's going to look great on just about anybody. And you can wear your bangs long if you want to, just the way it comes and swept to the side, or you can trim them up a bit the way I did. I just, I just did a messy cut. This is just messy bangs. And um, just so I could side sweep them sometimes or do whatever I wanted to do with them. So this is a really cute, cute, cute wig. You can also, and this is not the right thing, I'm looking for a clip of some sort, a hair bow or a clip. This is just an old clip, but you get the idea, a hair bow or something like back in there. That's a cute way to wear it too, just like that. Just a great, great, great looking wig. So this is the Rowan from Paula Young. Um, I don't think it's very expensive. It's like $69 or $59, but there are shipping and other fees and tax and stuff, and it comes out to, it was close to $90 when I bought it, but I think it's worth it. I really do. I think this is one of the great, great Paula Young wigs, and it's very versatile. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you're not going to be able to use it too much in the summer because of that closed cap construction. You saw how closed that front is. This is a fall and winter wig, and um, or spring. We have cool days in spring, so you could wear it then too. But I think this is the cutest thing I have seen from Polly Young in a long time. This is a real winter, and I really love it. So thank you to whoever suggested that I review it. I bought it. I love it. And it's going to be one of my favorites.
There's so many different things that you can do with it. So anyways, that's my story on the Rowan, R-O-W-A-N. Now I want to talk to you about something else. And I have this picture that I've been talking about lately, and somebody asked, who's that picture in back of you? Well, it's Jesus. And this was done by the painter of light, and that is Thomas Kincaid. And he did it when he was like in high school. This is one of the pictures of Jesus that he painted in high school. And I bought this one. It's not the original, of course, but it's a really good copy. I really love it. And I treasure that picture. And I think it's beautiful. But I want to talk to you about something. I want to talk to you about the glory of God. The glory of God is the reason which we and all creation exist. We live for the glory of God and for God alone. It's for God's glory that he planned and executed the plan of redemption. And I think everyone knows what that is. That's when Jesus died on the cross for our sin. And he was raised the third day. That's redemption. It is for God's glory that all of history is moving to the future climax when Jesus returns and establishes a new heaven and a new earth. So that's what we're looking forward to. That is our hope as Christians. That is what, what we wait for, Jesus' return. So let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to God who is in heaven. That's Matthew 5, 16. And those are good words to live by. Let your light shine before others, before people. Live for Jesus today. Do things for other people. Give generous tips. Um, find somebody to give money to, a good charity to give money to. May you and yours be blessed today and prosperous. And give your life to Jesus today. He'll never let you down. That's my story for today. Thank you that Sierra, um, I forgot her last name now, but Sierra um, did email me. And we're all set up, and I'm putting it in the mail today. So thank you very much for that, Sierra. You get the Sierra wig. I love that. Anyways, that's my story for today, and I will see you tomorrow.